Hey, hello. What's going on, you guys? Super Giant is one of the other cards in Spotlights this week with Anti Venom. And I got a list here by Stefan that I think is the best list for Super Giant. It is a Ronin Super Giant list. Um, and it feels actually really incredible into all sorts of different matchups. Let's go ahead and jump right into what Super Giant does, the deck, as well as why we have each card in this list. But first things first, we have Super Giant. Super Giant is on reveal. All cards played next turn do not reveal until the end of the game. This allows you to set up yourself to be able to protect your Ronin, um, play a Maximus or like a Negasonic or a Red Guardian Cosmo um, on your turn five, if you play this on curve, um, to be able to reveal at the end of the game to give you some extra value there. Um, you can also mainly use this to stop your opponent's combos on turn five. This works really well in some of these decks that are trying to bounce things on turn five. Um, or if they're trying to play Sarah on turn five, so it helps you have that counter tech while also having a bunch of tech in this list to counter those options as well. Um, this card, of course, wasn't used as much when she first came out, and then she had some relevance in the meta, especially during the Annihilus part of the meta. Um, she's making a resurgence right now because of a lot of these turn five combo decks um, at the moment, and I think with the Ronin package, is really good. Revis also has a really good um, Ajax package, um, which is another way I've seen people play this i personally like the ronin package more um but this card is very fun and if you did get it with your spotlight keys this is a deck you surely can try let's go ahead and jump right into the deck and then of course like i said we will break each card down individually all right so this is going to be the deck right here it is stefan's sugi that's what we call super giant sugi so it's got all sorts of other counter tech cards you have an echo in here you do have a quake to offset situations us agent red guardian negasonic cosmo gladiator and then of course your super giant and then your high end is going to be ronin even if you don't have the ronin in this list um you're able to use other cards like the tech cards to be able to counter what your opponent's trying to do offset it with a us agent into some of these high cost just ongoing lanes people are playing right now um of course you have the gladiator to destroy some of these cards especially if these cards get hit with you know agent venom um red not red guardian gladiator is able to just nuke them um, but this list feels really solid. Um, we're going to jump into why we have each card in this list, and then I might be able to show you guys some substitutions as well. All right, so we have Echo in this list. Um, and Echo, of course, stops other ongoing cards that are played on her location, just removes their ability as soon as they're played. Um, you'll see in this video, I actually do snipe a Morbius a couple times with Echo, um, which it just feels really good. This is kind of an underused card right now, and people always forget about Echo because there's like no really effect to see where she is. People still play their ongoing cards onto Echo, so you just get that value immediately, and it's a really good snap condition as well. Um, of course, you have Hydra Bob in this list. If you don't have Hydra Bob, you could potentially do like a Nico or maybe even a Titania for like the end of the game situation um, or a Silver Sable. Those are two other options you could use instead of Hydra Bob. Hydra Bob, of course, is the most optimal option, um, but you could also use those cards. Um, you have Daredevil, which works just hand in hand with Supergiant, allows you to see what's happening on turn five and Supergiant is making sure the cards aren't revealed on turn five. So it really allows you just to have that extra step ahead of your opponent going into that situation. You also have Quake to be able to offset some of these locations. Location control is huge, especially if you are playing Conquest right now in an Infinity Conquest. Um, using Quake here does allow you to offset combos. And if your opponent is trying to play maybe a Legion, um, you can see where Legion's coming down and you can Quake it to make it so your opponent doesn't know or doesn't really get the change they were looking for. Of course, you have US Agent. Um, US Agent adds the offsetting power to all these ongoing, I mean, it is ongoing, but all these other four, five, and six cost cards, giving them negative four affliction. Um, if you don't have US Agent, you could try Shadow King instead. Um, and then, of course, you have Maximus. It goes hand in hand with your Ronin and makes your opponent draw cards. And then, if you play this even at the end of the game, it gives you Ronin value. It's a 2 6. So, of course, that downside is drawing cards. You don't necessarily use this on tempo unless you have some of these locations that already have filled your opponent's hand. Um, and then, of course, you have Cosmo. Um, Cosmo blocks a lot of the on reveals because he's an ongoing. Um, and this card is very good right now in the meta. There's so much on reveal going on. You can be able to snipe some of these anti venoms, some of these agent venoms, some mystiques. Um, it just really helps just to hinder a lot of your opponent's combos. Um, and then we have Negasonic. Negasonic's also incredible. You're fighting for priority, especially with a super giant. So you have your Negasonic down as well. So whenever the cards flip over, they do get destroyed by Negasonic. Um, and this card is actually really good right now in the meta. Um, I'm glad it's a 3-3 as well. 
Um, and then, of course, we have Red Guardian. Red Guardian afflicts negative two power to the lowest powered card here, as well as removing its ability, which is a really another good just counter tech card um, to some of these activate cards, especially if they're by themselves or any cards by themselves. Red Guardian is going to hit and just give you some really good value there. Um, it does also work really well with the Super Giant. If you don't have Red Guardian, you might want to do more of an Enchantress, or you could potentially do like a Rogue if you're trying to steal an ongoing ability. I think those would be the other two options here. And then, of course, you have Gladiator. Gladiator destroys any other card that has lower power than him. Uh, this is also, like I said, just an incredibly good card for this Ronin slash Super Giant list. Um, you could play this on a later turn to be able to more often than not still destroy a card at the end of the game or you can play this on curve to try and offset your opponent's combo it does also offset their draws um, because it, it messes with their shuffle because it's a random card um, and then if you also don't have you know gladiator you could probably try shang chi um, next we have super giant she is one of the focal cards in this list um, like i said allows you to do this ronin package as well as just set up the other tech cards and it just feels really solid and then we have Ronin. Ronin's a 5-5. Five, five. It gets plus 2 power for each card your opponent has in their hand. That's why it works well with the Maximus. Um, and honestly, you're not trying to make it them have a full hand. You're just trying to have that extra power with Ronin. And they don't know necessarily what you're playing, especially if you haven't played Maximus out. They're just seeing all these tech cards, and then Maximus is just that extra surprise factor there at the end of the game. But that's going to be the gist of the deck over here. We're going to jump into some gameplay from stream last night. Um, if you guys do enjoy the video, definitely feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys at the end of the video. Also, we get to keep Hydra Bob safe now. Also here with the snap, which is cool. Hydra Bob does not move. Hydra Bob is locked into Lamura. So I actually, I like what we're, we're working here. Actually, just for our first turn. So this is pretty nice. Um, and then we also have a Camp Lehigh. We do get Black Widow, which actually can help with Ronin things. Um, I could Tempo Quake just to throw things out i kind of want to do that because just why not we're just going to go ahead and quake to get some extra power on the board for now we do have super giant hand they do have forge um we're doing we have asgard actually is really good too we're going to play gladiator onto the asgard and then we're probably going to play super giant um depending on if we win this location and if we get the draws so i'm trying to keep that in mind Gladiator comes down. What are we hitting? And we're hitting Silver Surfer early. That's huge, actually. Great hit by Gladiator. And then they're going to Brood. I'm going to win this lane, I think, now. Just with the Super Giant, which is nice. And then I can play Ronin. And then Ronin and, like, Max Black Widow, which is going to be good. Super Giant into the Absorbing Man. So they filled this up. That is not going to be enough. They also do not get um, any of the crazy value we were looking at. Okay, so like they can't Surfer. So like they have to do Killmonger things now. So I just roan in here. I can roan in here. And then I can have Max, Black Widow, and Echo to kind of just win lanes. We're also ducking priority, which is nice. Um... So I like this. We're going to go ahead and if they Killmonger, I lose five power. So I'm going to do this, that, and that. And we should just win this game now, I do believe. They Shaw, Sage, I Max, Black Widow, Echo, and I Ronin here. They Nova into the Killmonger like I thought. So we knew we knew that was gonna happen. We go over the four there on the left. They have 20. My Ronin wins me the game. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Yo, what's up, Nate? Victory. How you doing? Welcome in. So we knew the Killmonger was a potential option there. Um, so that's why we played Maximus on the left to have that extra power there, too. Lose right Guardian. We get Quake. They lose Sif. Are they playing Hella? Or are they playing... Classic discard is the question. What's up, Assassin? How you doing, bro? Welcome in. Um... Do I snap? I mean... This probably is a snap.
If they play more middle. There we go. I should have snapped into that probably because we knew the morb was coming down. They retreat now. They retreat now and I play Cosmo right. Collector Blade. There we go. There we go. I could Super Giant here. Super Giant does also give me priority for uh, for Modok things. I got you after this one, Richard. Got you after this one. Silver Samurai hits my Quake and hits their Swarm. Okay. I think Daredevil is more important. I mean, Ronin kind of just... I mean, in this situation, we have a tough matchup here with the Ronin middle. So we're trying to account for that. And then if we can get, like, Negasonic and Max here, probably be good. Or with Negasonic there. Oh, we do get Max. Um... Actually... I don't want to give them more cards to Modok here, right? Do I want to give them more cards to Modok is the question. I don't think so. I don't think so. You just hit infinite for the first time. Let's go, Tube Socks. Let's freaking go. That's awesome. That is so, so sick. And then there's the health cuff. Sweet. Rickety Bridge. So, like, this is going to come in clutch against Legion. Oh boy. Colson things. Let's see. What all can we mess around with over here, though? Guardians 1 and 3 are great movies. I agree. Okay, so. Polaris! Did I ever brew or test decks that are, don't use new spotlight cards? I want a couple of them that don't use. Spotlight cards. Define. I mean, like, I play text every week that don't use, like, the brand new cards. I would say, you know? I'm going to have 14 power here. Negasonic on the left. I could even do that instead and then save Max. Oh, I forgot that interaction actually worked like that. Well, this seems pretty good. This seems pretty good. Can they get above the power that I am dropping down here? Shadow King and Leader. And then we get the US Agent Middle. Sweet. Sweet. Yo, David, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the kingdom. 
The soundtrack in 2 is good, but I, I just didn't like the, the plot with Ego. Good old Carnage, yeah! Carnage is the card. I have 15 variants. I have all of the variants for Carnage and all of the variants for Venom. I have both of those. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I need to destroy cards because it was my old faithful. Old faithful. Oh, this could be interesting. Um, Do I ever just tempo? Do I tempo Cosmo? You 12 for Carnage? Maybe, uh, let's play Negasonic right, actually. What is up, DJ? How you doing, DJ? Yo, Son of Thunders is in the building, too. How we doing? An all Venomized deck be back? Ooh, that'd be nice. <laughs> oh, you wonder if I had the mastery? Hmm, I do. Good to see you, Thunders. And a DJ in the building. We all vibing out here. Wong. Wong. Little Wongaronis. I have Cosmo and Red Guardian. Oh, why is my DJ? Not my DJ. My freaking TikTok being going crazy. I mean, I think they do it like per like Thor's next month. Next month is Thor Mastery. It's going to be, like, season-based. Definitely going to be season-based. They have Thor next month. I wonder what they're going to do in December. Yeah, no, the Carnage variant is so good. So, so good. I mean, Thor is like one of the character albums. Like, it's already been data mined. It's already been data mined. fun so like people ragged on like anti-venom too hard i think like anti-venom actually does have some good value here they have to kill monger and then right guardian so like they have to spend two turns doing this stuff which is really cool um yes no it does definitely have some agent venom vibes especially with like even though there is a lot of chi right now them changing typhoid mary them changing atuma is really huge Really, really huge. Invisible woman. Oh, I kill an this invisible woman now. The throne. There we go.
They already kill Monk me, so this is really good. Victory. We have Warrior Falls. Quake can be good into that. Getting the Echo every turn is also really helping us. Yeah, that no, definitely enabling the scar is gonna be good. I was just talking about certain things, but like the scar value next season with Fenris, that's why they Fenris originally, originally Fenris was going to be um, week one, but they're like, oh, let's actually hold off here. Let's actually hold off here. Um... A US agent over here. Oh, and another gladiator? Wow. This went crazy. Red Hulk into Max and Negasonic. And Negasonic wins me the game. And it's the main thing. Holy. This deck's crazy. This deck is crazy, crazy fun. Oh, let's play Bob right. They play Kitty. Orcus Forge. Go you guys eat. My TikTok just keeps dying. I don't know what it is, TikTok. But he keeps shutting down, so I do apologize there. Jubilee is kind of cheeky. I'm going to go... I'm going to go Negasonic here, actually. Go Negasonic middle. You kind of do have to watch WandaVersion first. I didn't like Miss Marvel. She-Hulk was kind of meh. This can give me. No, I do. I do this actually. I do that, and then I'll play Ronin. Shield, I watched all the way through. I play Ronin left here, and then I'll play Max and Jubilee. Max middle Jubilee right, probably. Should be good. Max and then Jubilee. They actually, they what they might do here is they might, if they forego middle, this could either be Cosmo, Echo, or Daredevil. I'm gonna go Max Quake 
Sentinel, actually. Or Max, Sentinel, Big. Or if I go... Or no, actually, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Quake. Max, or sorry, I'm freaking, I done messed up. Quake, Max, Sentinel. Maybe. They got another wasp. They got a wasp from the hub? She-Hulk, Kitty, Sentinel. So if I just place uh, Max Middle, I play Max Mid. Wait, hold up. <gasps> Wait, Sunspot didn't. Oh my gosh. Actually, Necrotia saved us the game. They're putting Sunspot and Necrotia. Um, wow, that was cheeky. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys did stick around in the end, let me know down below. Did you guys manage to get Super Giants or were you guys just skipping this week entirely? Until the next time, I hope you guys have a good one. God bless and talk around.